Guess what I'm watching. Listen. Yeah, here we go. But is this the one where they just get shut? Okay, I gotta turn it off. Because I have no idea. If that gets me, like, demonetized or whatever. But it's Jacksepticeye Kindergarten. It's number seven. Ah! It's Bugs' mission. Okay. Let's get on with the video. So, I'm moving out. We all know this. I've made multiple videos about it. I believe. Well... We actually, this Saturday, my father is going to get a quote from a guy to see them putting new flooring in my house. Ah! That's exciting. And starting Saturday, I will have nine more weeks before I move out. That is, like, exciting and also feels like forever but also it's like, whew, nine more weeks and I'm going to be at my own place without my parents. So like, that that's exciting and non-exciting and yeah. But, I today put a ton of clothing in a box. I still have a lot of clothing because we buy clothing a lot. There's some people without a lot of clothing, but we buy clothes. Also, I'm sorry for my hair. I had a messy bun that was up here, but it's decided to fall to this side. So, like, this is what's going to happen. Thought I'd say that. Because if I, for some reason, get famous, I'm going to have a comment like, Why is your hair all messy? And I don't want to have to comment back to every comment and be like, It's messy because da 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 and stuff. So, yeah. So, moving out is so excited. Excited? Exciting. And, like, you get to do so many things freely on your own. And I'm saying this like I already know, which I don't. But, we went to Bevel State today. I don't really want to have to go to college but like at Bevel they talked about robotics and stuff and all these hands-on things I'd love to be someone that could work on cars but I know nothing about cars and I don't want to screw up someone's car and I'd love to be able to do cosmetology and like dye my own hair or dye people's hair for money but I don't have a passion for that I have a passion for missions and kids but I want a hands-on job. So, am I going to college? That's my big thing. Well, I don't technically have to figure that out before I move. But, wouldn't it be better for me to figure out before I move? See, that's my dilemma. I'm moving out. I have nine more weeks starting Saturday before I move out. I've got to figure out if I'm going to college. I said that I was going to wait till after the summer and be like, during the summer, yeah, I don't like the pay. I want to go to college. I want to have a more comfortable lifestyle. Because how my mom explains our lifestyle, some people who are really less fortunate than us can see our lifestyle as rich. Some people that are as fortunate as us or more fortunate see it as middle class well upper middle class um and my mom says that her and my father were poor when they were growing up and never thought that they'd get this lifestyle and all that stuff it's a long story and every time I used to come home crying because people called me rich um they tell me the same story we've worked to get here la 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 I don't really care to repeat the whole story. But they were poor. Dixie! No! Sorry, she's trying to jump up on my bed. And I'm trying to teach her not to. Since she's randomly starting to do it now. Um. But, like, nobody wants to hash out the whole story of, 
oh, my parents were poor and now they're not and I didn't grow up poor and stuff. Nobody really cares about that. We live a comfortable lifestyle. If we want to go out to eat, we can go out to eat. If we want to buy new clothing, we can buy new clothing. Some people can't do that. Some people are like, I wonder where my next meal's coming from. Or, we can only afford McDonald's tonight. We can't even afford a Lunchable. Or, we can't afford, like, mom and dad does not have enough time to make food so we use Lunchables and stuff. Like, some people live that lifestyle. I do not. I am very fortunate. And I do not go and rub it in people's face because I feel like that's rude. Well, when I move out, I'm not going to have this lifestyle. Number one, I'm going to have to earn it myself. Number two, well, I'm not going to be as fortunate as this, meaning... I'd have to have a husband before I could do this. Now, you might need a wife, you might need a partner, you might need something else to do this lifestyle. Or, you might be willing to go and be an engineer and stuff, and hands-on worker, and that be your lifestyle because of that. It depends. But me, with what I'm wanting to go into, either if I do missions, early childhood development, if I pick one of those two jobs, I'm not going to live this comfortable of a lifestyle. I will be making ends meet, maybe have a few dollars here and there to spend on whatever I want, but I won't have much wiggle room like we have now. That scares me to death. That I'm not going to have wiggle room. I'm not going to be able to do what I want to do. I've grown up with this. Yes, I'm a little spoiled. Now, I'm not a huge spoiled brat. But I'm spoiled where I don't have to, like, get a job to make sure that we can eat food that month. I don't have to live off government stuff because food takes stamps and stuff is the only way we get food. I don't have to have my mom and dad work two and three jobs each for us to pay the bills and stuff. I don't have the worry of the lights getting cut off. I don't have to have the worry of not being able to have a jacket for winter. I don't have those problems. But some people do. And from what my mother has said, I will not have those problems if I budget correctly. Now, not saying that if you budget correctly, you'll never have those problems. Because sometimes the jobs do not pay enough. So, I'm going to have to learn, which I already know how to budget, but I'm going to have to learn a way to better budget. A way to, like, get myself, don't go to Dollar Tree and buy 20 movies with the money you could put towards gas. Or, don't do this because you might need that money for this. Save your money. I'm gonna have to get myself into that regiment stuff. I'm gonna have to shop at probably Aldi's, maybe a little Walmart. I I'm gonna have to get myself in a bunch of points and places. Because if I do not go to college, or if I go to college and I'm a daycare teacher, I'm not going to make barely anything. If I go to college and I become an engineer or something, I'll make a lot more money. But it's not for everyone, and I don't even know if it's for me. So, it's just... You want to do what's best for your future. And I want to do what's best for my future. But I do not know what's best for my future. And I'd love to be someone who's like, I'm just going to go for general studies in college. But I don't want to waste our money on college if I'm not going to follow through with something after general studies. That's kind of my spill. Moving out, college, scared. Uh, I don't know. Just...
time to spill that out. But bye!